what Kamex was at. Normally, yeah. he was at like like full hop height essentially. Normally, that happens from like short hop height where it's much harder to react to. However, going into this next game, we have Bobo Snake versus uh, yeah, John Numbers. We the trainer for special. Uh, it's really cool to see Bobo coming down into uh, Zeno more often. For those of you who don't know, he is a really high quality player up in Westchester. Been rocking this snake for a long time and been getting really good results with him. Uh, and he's been consistently doing really well here at Zeno as well, getting top eight a bunch. Uh, and he's still in winners right now. If he could get a win on John Numbers, that would be a huge boon for him. I think he's done in the past. I could be wrong about that, though. We'll see how it shapes up. Yeah, and the, the, the thing with like a matchup like this is is that Snake is heavily advantaged in that training game. Um, really where it's going to be a struggle for Snake is in disadvantage. So right now, John does need to get darn close to getting that stock Ooh. off. And that's a decent amount of percent, so we're getting dangerously close to that mark now. Yeah, one thing is also that normally Snake loves to do these ledge traps. It's one of the strongest parts of his character. But John puts himself at ledge willingly. He has so many cheeky things that, like, you saw him going for up smashes, going for C4s. None of it was working. Yeah. And, ooh, nice a little conversion there by Bobo. Um, <laughs> wow. I, I don't think I've ever seen Nikita just get stalled out for the entire thing. That is kind of crazy. Um, I've seen it get canceled out, but that just got... The move ended. So I think what's, what's relatively key in this matchup, especially for Bobo, is once John Number does have Sun Charge, um, you really want to be B reversing your grenades a lot, making sure that the grenades fall behind you, uh, or rather, I guess, towards where John is, as those grenades can block the Sun. And then the worst thing you'll take is a grenade explosion rather than a full on charged Sun. Yeah, we definitely see how that's becoming a real thorn in John's side. Oh, really nice right there. Now, one thing that I know John says is that whenever he's playing against somebody, he thinks about how uh, he's going to, like, they're in the air habits. Because mm -hmm. WeFit actually has really good anti-air tools. Uh, the two ones mainly being that up tilt, that's frame five, in, like, arm intangible, and sun salutation. Yes. Uh, but as we're seeing, the sun is being canceled out very reliably by these uh, grenades, and so he's having to opt for sort of different approaches, mainly actually going for that medicine ball because of the angle. It can dodge those uh, grenades quite effectively. Salt of the Year is 2021. We're still calling it a medicine ball. It's definitely a soccer ball, Salty. I, I like to think that it's... No, no, okay. So, here's the thing. Here's why I like it being a medicine ball. Think about how jacked she has to be in order to send that thing flying if it's a medicine ball. It, 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 okay. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you why, but it definitely is a soccer ball. Um, with the point, the point being, uh, well, John, needless to say, has kind of taken over this game a little bit. And here's the thing. As I mentioned earlier... Uh, when Snake's in disadvantage, John just needs to get damage. And what is John doing? Getting all of that damage. Woo! <laughs> that, yeah, that soccer ball, the hitbox will last for... Yikes. Oh my god, the, the, the Kakashi. You kind of got waxed. That is the Kakashi. <laughs> That's a solid one. See, now that I can get behind. Medicine ball, not so much. Uh, the Kakashi, that I can get behind. We can call it that. All right. Um... um but, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, it felt like things were going... A thousand even. years of pain. Pow. <laughs> oh, literally, literally thousand oh, years of pain. no. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is why Devin gave us the ability to draw. I don't, e I don't even watch... <laughs> I, I don't even watch Naruto, and I, I know what that is. Um, shout out, shout outs to the Naruto fans. Uh, love that. Shout out to Barto's dad. That's facts. Whatever happened to Bardo's dad? Oh, oh, okay, grenade. But that's still huge damage for John. And th th this is the thing: Snake can trade, but you know who's kind of good at trading too? Okay, John. Uh, you know who's kind of good at trading too? We fit trainer. Specifically, when deep breathing is in mm -hmm. effect. Normally, I feel like going back and forth with it. Oh my God, dude, you're taking so much damage. 120 already. He's at death percent from F tilt at ledge. And if Deep Breathing gets back in the picture, which he's, you know, he has to give John a lot of space, I would expect Deep Breathing to be online relatively soon. Uh, then he's dying to, yeah, there it is. He's dying to a whole lot more, oh boy. Oh, and yeah, that's the thing. You really, ha and that was because of a grenade pull that Bobo got hit, I want to point out. Um, you got to be B reversing your grenade pulls, because even if you get hit by the grenade, it's not nearly as bad as dying to Sun Salutation. 
Oh, and you saw right there, those panic options. The mm -hmm. spot dodges, everything was getting red. Look at the way that Numbers is just absolutely dismantling Bobo right now. And it's it's a master class on dealing with Snake and Disadvantage. Um, really, Numbers hasn't missed a beat with that. Yeah, and you got schmixed. And you got schmixed. Did you see that? So he got deep breathing online, and the first thing he does is get up there and sneak in that back throw. We... That's something we very, very rarely see John actually go for, but when it works, oh boy. Yeah, and you know, traditionally those throws are of course not kill throws with that deep breathing and with some not so great DI. I like the schmix, but... <laughs> that was the... <laughs> that was the, the most snake interaction I may have ever seen. Because you're horrified. You're like, I'm gonna get up tilted. And then uh, John rolls in and Bobo's like, aha, I have the, the C4 <laughs> right there. Uh, just as planned. Uh, look, honestly though, kind of a nice trap by Bobo, but still not sure it's gonna do too much in terms of saving him from here on out. Ooh, uh, that was actually pretty interesting. <laughs> through the grenade, and normally we fit can crouch right underneath him, but it happened to explode when it was still in range to actually connect on it. Oh, wow. That being said, oh, yeah, let's, like, we have to just, we we have to mention the difference right now in these <sighs> two's percent and stock counts. Numbers absolutely dominating right here. It, uh, what can Bobo even do? It, he, <sighs> yeah, you're dead. That's untakeable. And that was, yeah, red sparks. You were dead six ways from Sunday. Yeah, and... Goodness gracious, um, what like a, a, the most... Gosh golly gee. Yeah, like the, one of the fastest games I've seen in, in, in one of these, you know, um, you know, top 24s. Here's the crazy thing about this, is that I felt like grenades were like actively hurting Bobo. In that like the grenades would do shield pressure to him, and then numbers would just throw a sun. And then it would just poke. 